Hello and welcome to Baiju's Exam Prep IAS. Welcome to the big news of the day. The topic for today is the delimitation exercise in Jammu and Kashmir which has been completed by the delimitation commission. So in this short and crisp analysis we shall understand what is delimitation what is the role of the delimitation commission and why was delimitation needed for Jammu and Kashmir and what do these changes mean for Jammu and Kashmir. But before we take up the discussion I would like to remind you that as part of our free prelims crash course the third session for Indian polity shall be held tomorrow by Sarmad sir. So don't forget to catch this session live at 7.30 p.m. So with this let's begin with today's discussion. First let's understand why the topic is in news. This topic is in news because yesterday the delimitation commission that was set up by the government of India has submitted its final report for the delimitation of assembly and parliamentary constituencies in the union territory of Jammu and Kashmir. This exercise known as delimitation was very crucial for Jammu and Kashmir to kick start the political process again in the union territory following the reorganization of the erstwhile state of Jammu and Kashmir. After the special status of JNK was revoked in 2019 under article 370 the then state of Jammu and Kashmir was reorganized by the government into the union territory of JNK and the union territory of Ladakh. While Ladakh has been placed under the direct administrative control of the center JNK has been made into a union territory with its own assembly on the lines of other union territories such as Delhi and Puducherry. So to hold these assembly elections for the union territory of Jammu and Kashmir the delimitation of assembly and parliamentary constituencies was essential and now this process has been completed but the changes made to the constituencies have been strongly opposed by opposition parties. So in this context first we need to understand what is delimitation. Delimitation is essentially the process of redrawing the boundaries of assembly constituencies and Lok Sabha constituencies. The purpose of the exercise is to ensure that the constituency reflects the changes in demography that is population that happens in a constituency over time. The objective is to redraw the boundaries of a constituency based on the latest census data in such a way that every constituency has roughly the same population in order to ensure that every vote roughly holds the same power. The idea is to uphold the principle of one vote one value and to ensure that no constituency becomes more powerful than the other. So these changes are made by redrawing the boundaries or limits of constituencies and this will result in changes in the number of seats in a state. The same would happen in the case of parliamentary seats as well and this delimitation exercise is also responsible for reserving seats for SCs and STs in the state assembly and in the Lok Sabha. This exercise of delimitation draws its legal and constitutional basis from article 82 and article 170 of the constitution which provides for readjustment of constituencies periodically based on population data of each census which will be carried out by an authority established by the parliament. So accordingly the parliament enacts the delimitation commission act under which the government of India through the president is empowered to establish delimitation commissions. Till date at the national level four delimitation commissions have been set up in 1952, 62, 63, 72, 73 and 2002. Between the period 1972 and 2002 delimitation was frozen in order to facilitate family planning programs and population stabilization initiatives of the states and the same has been done after the 2002 delimitation and it has been frozen until 2026 in order to achieve population stabilization. Such delimitation commissions which are established happen to be a powerful authority as its orders have the force of law and its final orders cannot be questioned even in a court of law. Its reports will be tabled in the Lok Sabha and the state assembly but changes cannot be done and its orders shall be full and final. Such a delimitation commission is often headed by a retired judge of the Supreme Court who would be assisted by members from the election commission of India and the state election commissions. In some cases the delimitation commissions are also provided with associate members who are drawn from various political parties in order to give a wider representation 
but their advice however is not binding on the delimitation commission now coming to jammu and kashmir you need to know that delimitation in jnk before 2019 was slightly different from the rest of india because prior to august 2019 jnk enjoyed a special status under article 370 and accordingly in jnk the delimitation of lok sabha seats was governed by the constitution of india and hence delimitation of parliamentary constituencies was similar to delimitation across india but however delimitation of state assembly constituencies was different as it was governed by the jnk constitution and jnk representation of people act but this anomaly has been corrected after the special status of jnk was revoked under article 370 by the government of india in 2019 and hence to hold fresh elections to the new union territory a new delimitation exercise became necessary in jnk the last delimitation exercise was carried out in the 1990s by the justice k k gupta commission based on 1981 census data which became the basis of state elections in 1996 but following this even jnk had frozen delimitation until 2026 in line with the rest of the country as per the earlier delimitation jnk assembly had 87 seats out of which 46 were allotted for the kashmir region whereas 37 were allotted for jammu and four seats were allocated for ladakh region apart from this there were 24 seats allocated to pakistan occupied kashmir as india claims this region to be an integral part of the state of jammu and kashmir but post 2019 considering the revocation of special status and considering that jnk was reorganized into two union territories it became necessary to hold a new delimitation exercise and accordingly in march 2020 the government of india set up a delimitation commission specifically for jammu and kashmir which was headed by retired supreme court judge ranjana prakash desai the government of india said that this exercise was necessary in order to set the stage for elections in the union territory in order to bring back the political and democratic process in jnk under the jnk reorganization act of 2019 the assembly seats in jnk were increased from 107 to 114 with a specific provision to include more seats for the jammu region so with this the effective strength of jnk assembly went up to 90 and as the number of constituencies were expected to go up the boundaries of existing constituencies had to be redrawn and this exercise has been taken up by the delimitation commission earlier this year the delimitation commission submitted its draft report and suggested that out of the seven new constituencies six of them would be meant for the jammu region which you can see in the map over here whereas only one new constituency would be created for the kashmir region so now the delimitation commission has submitted the final report and as expected the number of constituencies for jammu region has gone up by six assembly seats whereas only one new assembly seat is being added for the kashmir region to accommodate these changes the delimitation commission has redrawn the boundaries and limits of several constituencies thus leading to major changes and it has even provided for reservation of two seats for kashmiri pandits who have been internally displaced so that they have adequate representation in the legislative assembly of the union territory the commission has also recommended that the center should provide for representation for people who have been displaced from pakistan occupied kashmir who have migrated to the jammu region post partition but however these changes have attracted a lot of controversy and have been strongly opposed by several opposition political parties the controversy is essentially based on four grounds and the first one includes allegations that the delimitation deliberately favors the ruling party at the center as it seeks to promote religion and region based voting by providing more preference for the jammu region over kashmir the second criticism is that the jnk assembly in 1990s had frozen delimitation until 2026 just like the rest of india and this freeze on delimitation was even upheld by the high court and the supreme court but now by carrying out a new delimitation exercise prior to 2026 it is being argued that the government of india has breached the court orders and hence it is being claimed that the new delimitation exercise is illegal and unconstitutional it has also been pointed out that delimitation exercise as per the constitution should be carried out 
strictly on the basis of population data as per the latest census. But in the new delimitation exercise for J&K, the commission had even referred to several other local factors apart from population data based on census. According to critics, this again violates the constitutional provision. Then finally, it has also been pointed out that the reorganization of J&K Act of 2019 has been challenged at the Supreme Court and hence the matter is still sub judice. So in that case, it would be inappropriate to conduct the delimitation exercise as it was provided by the very same act. So on these four grounds, there has been opposition against the delimitation exercise. But however, the government of India has justified the exercise by stating that the delimitation is absolutely essential in order to hold elections in the union territory of J&K and to restore the political and democratic process in the union territory. So with this, I would like to conclude my discussion for today. And if you found the initiative to be helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.